Like I'm a mess, but you guys. Uh, the cinnamon rolls are perfect, huh? Uh, <laughs> it is time to get cooking. I'm Jackie Saldana, and I've been creating simple and delicious recipes on my website for more than 10 years with my family. And now I'm inviting you into my kitchen to come cook along with me while I show you how to easily create weeknight dinners, decadent desserts, and everything tasty in between. I keep it real, and most importantly, I keep it simple. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on our weekly videos. And now, let's see what we're making today. Hello, everyone. Today we are making, oh, do you want to tell them what we're making? making cinnamon rolls. They are so cinnamony and delicious, fluffy. I've broken down the recipe. We're all so excited. Yeah. I'm gonna walk you through the recipe. It's so simple. You guys are gonna be making cinnamon rolls every weekend for your family, I promise you. So, let's get into it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so this recipe is broken down into three stages. The first stage is making the dough. The second stage is making the filling. And the third stage is, of course, making the icing. Okay, so I've got a cup of warm milk here, and I've just heated it up in the microwave for about 30 seconds. You don't want it too hot. You just want it nice lukewarm. And I'm using instant yeast here. You can also use active yeast. The difference here is instant yeast, you don't need to bloom it for five minutes. If you're using active yeast, you wanna make sure you bloom it for five minutes, but I've got my warm milk here. I'm gonna add in my yeast. And I always use instant yeast, but again, you can use active yeast. Yes, and Mila's gonna add one teaspoon of sugar, because with yeast, you want to have some sort of sweetness in there for it to start activating. I'm gonna let our yeast here hang out. So we need two eggs. So can I crack the other one? Uh, yes, so I'm gonna add the egg here into the mixer. There you go. Put your thumbs in there. Thumbs, nice and gentle. Nice. Oh, look at that, no, oh. <laughs> All right, so put that in the big mixer for me. I hear you, I hear you. Nicely done. All right, so we've got our two eggs in here and we've got half a cup of sugar. And we need, we're gonna use a third cup of butter, which is almost the whole stick, but not quite. Not quite. Not quite. So we're gonna use this much butter. So with the cinnamon roll dough, you wanna make sure you're using softened butter for sure. And you also, hi, you, <laughs> it's a little crazy in the house today, but you know what, that's okay. Do you wanna tell them what kind of butter we always, always have to use when we're baking, especially when we make cinnamon rolls? Do you wanna tell them? Well, Yes, we always have to use unsalted butter. That's the main <laughs> important thing. Why is it blue butter? <laughs> blue butter. All right, so we've got our butter, our sugar, our two eggs in here, and I'm gonna use the paddle attachment and I'm just gonna give this a little whirl. And while it's going, I'm going to add in our flour and a little bit of salt. I'm gonna spoon it in right here. So I'm just gonna slowly add in our flour. So now that we've added the flour, we have to add in our dough hook, because now we're gonna start making the dough. Mama. So we're gonna turn this on and we're going to slowly add in our milk and our yeast. Bloop. Yeah. And we're gonna let this go and we're gonna stop it just as the dough starts to form. So I'm gonna stop the mixer just as the dough starts to form and then I'm gonna finish kneading it with my hand. So the dough looks perfect. And I'm gonna need my hands for this, girlfriend. Yeah. So we've got the dough, yeah. we have it, and what we're gonna do now is we're going to knead it together with our hands. If your dough seems a little sticky, that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. You can have some extra flour here just to help um, it not be so sticky. I like to knead the dough for about five minutes and you're gonna know when the dough is ready to stop kneading, when it stops being so sticky and it looks a little glossy. And I think I forgot to mention this at the start of the video, but you can use 
all-purpose flour for this recipe and everything will be totally fine. But I like to use bread flour for some reason. I think the consistency is a little bit better. I like the way the dough turns out. So I love using bread flour for this, these cinnamon rolls, but you can totally get away with using all-purpose flour. Yes. Yes. <laughs> As you can see here, when I lift my fingers, it's kind of sticky, right? But as I knead it, you'll see that the dough will stop being sticky. So let's knead. And this is the workout part. And I always like to think about who I'm making my cinnamon rolls for. This is the baking with love part. This is the adding the love, kneading with love. All right, so you can see now it's been probably about what, like two minutes? And you can see the dough is a lot less sticky than it was, so that means we're on the right track. It's also got starting to get like a nice oh, sheen to oh, it. Yeah, oh yeah, yours looks great. I'm gonna keep going for another couple minutes. Yeah, me too. This is actually my favorite part of, from, of making the cinnamon rolls. I love the kneading part. It's like, there's something therapeutic about it. And just in case you don't know how to knead, I don't really think there's any really wrong or right way. You just kind of get your dough and you want to use this part of your hand and you just gently press into the dough and roll it up and then mush it back into a ball. All right, this is ready to go. You'll know that it's ready to go when it's not sticky anymore. It's got a nice sheen to it. All right, so now that this is ready to go, we've got our big bowl here. You want a big bowl so it has room to grow. I'm gonna grease it up a little bit with some spray and I'm gonna put our dough in the center of the bowl and I'm gonna let it rest for an hour. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give the dough time to rest and puff up and be nice and fluffy and delicious. So I'll see you in an hour, but for you, it's gonna be very quick. It's been an hour. I've lost my kitchen helpers. They have one is taking a nap and the other one has decided to meet me when they're done. Um, but that's okay because it's time to roll them out. And I just want to show you, it's been an hour since we let the dough rest and rise. Look how big and glorious this has gotten. It is beautiful. It looks beautiful. It smells so yummy and it's time to roll these cinnamon rolls. So I've got my dough here. I'm gonna plop it out and start rolling it, but I just wanna show you really fast. I've got my brown sugar and my cinnamon in here ready to roll. And I've also got my butter here and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna squeeze it just so you can see just how soft this butter is. You want it to be extremely softened because we're gonna layer it all over the dough. So what I have here is a giant silicone mat here that I like to use when I'm rolling out cinnamon rolls, obviously, or any kind of dough that takes up a lot of space on my counter. So I've got my dough here. I'm gonna roll it out on my silicone mat here. Oh my gosh, look how fluffy this is. And I've got my rolling pin here, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slowly roll this out into a rectangle shape. If you find that the dough is a little bit still sticky, you can always use a little bit more flour to help you along. Um, if you don't have one of these silicone um, mats for your counter, you can use a little sprinkle of flour as well. So normally, you would want this in like a perfect rectangle, but I am not perfect. I don't aim to be perfect. I just sort of roll it out into the best rectangle shape I can possibly get. And you wanna make sure your dough is about a quarter of an inch thick. So you don't want it too thin, but you also don't want it too thick. And you're just gonna do the best you can, which is all we can really do. <laughs> um, but cinnamon rolls, making cinnamon rolls has been so therapeutic. I talked about it a little bit when I was kneading the dough. I absolutely love that step. I also love rolling out the dough. There are quite a bit of steps for this recipe, but they're simple steps, they're fun steps. You can get the kids involved if you want. And um, yeah, with this video, I hope you can see just how simple it is and um, you can get in the kitchen and make your own cinnamon rolls. Oh, doesn't it look so good? 
All right, so now we've got our dough rolled out and we are going to use a third of a cup of softened butter. And there are a couple ways you can do this. You can just plop it on here and use your fingertips to smooth it out, or you can plop it on here and use a spatula. So we're just going to paint the butter everywhere. And this is why you wanna make sure you have your butter super softened because you want it to spread nice and easily without tearing the dough. And the best way to soften your butter is to pull it out the night before. So I knew I was gonna be making cinnamon rolls today, so I pulled out about, I pulled out four sticks of butter. So that'll give me my dough, my filling, and then for the cream, the cream cheese frosting. Um, if you leave it out the night before, it becomes just like this consistency, very soft and perfect to work with. The butter is essential because you need something for the brown sugar and the cinnamon to stick to. So you wanna really make sure you get every inch of this dough coated with butter. I guess at this point we're making regular cinnamon rolls, but you can also add pecans, you can add any type of nuts to this. We've got our brown sugar and cinnamon, and I'm just going to generously sprinkle this all over evenly. Now I like to add a lot because this is the cinnamon roll part of the cinnamon roll, right? Don't be chintzy on the brown sugar. Nice. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh my gosh, don't these look so good already? Yeah, I almost want to eat them. Oh, we got to bake them first. And a good cooker. Baker. Baker. Yeah. All right, let's see, let's make a... Like a Mickey like Mouse face. A heart? Oh, no, don't want to make it up. I want to A heart. <laughs> All right, now it's time to, to roll. bake it. To roll it, baby. All right, so I like to roll it from the long ways, the long side, because then you're gonna end up getting more rolls. If you roll it this way, you won't be able to cut as many rolls in nice, thick inch. The start here is... Um, Crucial. <laughs> it's not that crucial, but I like to make sure you get a nice tight roll so you get that iconic cinnamon roll in the center. So you just want to kind of work your way from the center out to the side so you get a nice even roll. Nice and easy. You're going to gently roll it forward. Roll it forward. There you go. Nice. Nice. All right, you did it. Thank you, high five. Nice. All right, so here's our roll. So I want about an inch or so sized rolls and I'm gonna gently slice through. I'm gonna show you just how beautiful they are inside. So we're gonna cut it nice and easy. Oh, look how yummy that looks. It's perfect. So I'm gonna just nestle them in my baking dish here and keep cutting nice and easy. I just love this. Like you get the perfect swirl and all the layers of this butter and the cinnamon and the sugar. Yum. And we've got, I'm not gonna cut this into two. We're just gonna make this a nice big guy right here. And we're gonna So now we have our gorgeous cinnamon rolls. Look how cute they are. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cover them back up with our trusty dish towel here. We're gonna let them sleep for 30 minutes to let them rest and rise before we put them in the oven. So we will see you in 30 minutes. I've got my baby sleeping and then I've got my little cinnamon roll baby sleeping. Okay. Time to make the frosting. All right, we're gonna make cream cheese frosting. It's like an icing, really. With cream cheese frosting, you need more cream cheese and more butter, so we're doing um, a cream cheese icing. We've got cream cheese already here in my mixer, and it's softened cream cheese, okay? Sorry, I just stuck my finger in it. Clean hand club. But you really wanna make sure that it's nice and soft so it whips nice and smooth. Now, who doesn't love cream cheese? Again, with the smooth butter, you need nice, soft butter. So I'm gonna add in our cream cheese and our butter. 
and how to spatulas here. All right, we've got our softened butter, our cream cheese. While this is whipping, I'm gonna add in a little vanilla. That's good enough. All right, I'm gonna just help my mixer along here. And then we're gonna add in some powdered sugar. All right, we've got our powdered sugar, which I'm just gonna slowly add in here. I'm gonna add a little bit at a time so it has time to incorporate. And you wanna do it slow, otherwise you'll be covered in powdered sugar, which has happened to me before. Sometimes when you just dump in all the powdered sugar at once, A, it'll come up in your face, and then sometimes you'll get a lumpy frosting, which isn't ideal. So the key to a really smooth frosting or icing is to always use room temperature butter, room temperature cream cheese, nice and soft, and add your powdered sugar nice and slow. Once all the powdered sugar is in, I like to crank my mixer up a little bit just so it gets nice and fluffy. And then, I mean, I'm gonna help my mixer out. Take it down from the sides. I'm gonna give it one more whirl and then I'm gonna lick the crap out of this spatula. Look at that frosting. It is delicious. It's super soft. Let me just show you how soft and luxurious this frosting is, icing, frosting, whatever you wanna call it, it is delicious. So I'm gonna set this aside. This is what we're going to generously slather all over our cinnamon rolls. Rolling with my homies. Does anybody know what that song is? If you know where that song is from, what movie that song is from, leave it below in the comments. It's a great movie and nobody knows, nobody in my house knows what I'm referring to when I say that, but if you do, then we are automatic best friends. These babies have been resting for 30 minutes. They are plump and just looking so desirable, sexy, just delicious. So I've got my oven preheated at 350, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna brush some milk over the top of these. So we are going to bake these in the oven for about 25 minutes. You wanna keep checking on them just until these tops here are nice and golden brown. You don't wanna have them go too far because they're gonna lose, you want them to be as soft as possible. So check them at 20 minutes, but I usually find about 25 minutes is perfect. So um, 25 minutes at 350 degrees, they'll be ready to roll. Rolling with my homies. See ya. The cinnamon rolls are fresh from the oven and perfect timing. The baby woke up from her nap and Mila's ready to have a delicious warm cinnamon roll. We have to frost them. So, with, do you want to help me frost? Yeah? We're going to put, we're going to slather on the cream cheese icing we made earlier all over the cinnamon rolls. And I like to do it when the cinnamon rolls are a little bit warm so it melts nice into every crevice of the cinnamon roll. So that's what we're gonna do right now. It's Rex from Toy Story, which I think is fine and cute. I just like to just, I mean, this doesn't have to be perfect. I just kind of like to smooth some cream cheese frosting just over the top as like I'm doing right here. Oh, did you want more? Look at this beautiful big one right here that has my name written all over it. So I always like to put the frosting on when the cinnamon rolls are nice and warm so the frosting sort of melts in every nook and cranny. <gasps> Look at this. They are perfect. They're fluffy and delicious. They come out in perfect little rolls. Oh my gosh. I Look at this. You got your spoon? <laughs> We're not gonna use our spoon, I don't think. What do you think? We should just use our hands? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna pick it up. So just also oh, you guys can Baba. see. Look Baba. how, I know. Chunky. Everyone's freaking out. Look how 
squishy and delicious that looks. Do you want the first bite? Is it good? You got some in your nose. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Is that yummy? Okay, my turn now. Oh yeah. Oh, you have some. You have some on your nose. <laughs> That's more. You have more on your That's nose. the business, baby, right there. I'll leave you with that. You can find this recipe and more Ooh. on babyboybakery.com. I highly recommend this recipe. Ooh. We have to share. Oh. <laughs>